WhatsApp. It's everyone here and I'm back with another video for you today. And this, what you're watching behind me, is my new setup. It has six monitors and fulfills the job of a workstation and a PC. So, if you're a gamer and you want to earn money, so you want to be productive and you want to make some videos for YouTube or something else or do some video editing, then you'll come to the right place. All the components of this set up under five thousand dollars. That's around twenty dollars less than five thousand. And I ordered all of them on new egg. Starting with the build, all the parts shown here in my piece setup will be having links in the description box. So what's on the other book? Let me start off by telling you about the CPU I've used. I've used the Intel Core i7 6700 pre that costed around three fifty dollars. Then then I've used two GPUs in this build. One of them is a GTX Titan X and the other one is a Quadro. For the memory, I've used G-Skills Rip Jaws, that's a 16 gig kit. And for the memory board, I used a Gigabyte GA2170, uh, that's gaming class for the board. For the power supply, I used a car shared power supply of CX 500 watts, that's more than enough for this build. For the cooling, I used a Corsair Hydro Series. H100i that's a very popular one and is very cheap for $100. The cabinet I use is a Cooler Master Strong Tuber. I choose the I chose the white color because I like whites. And at the last, these monitors. For the monitors I've used ASUS VN289. They are 28 inches and have inbuilt speakers, so no need to spend something more on speakers. Though the speakers aren't that good, this will do the job for you. Since you're not doing any great audio editing, no need of additional speakers. Coming to gaming performance, I use only four monitors for gaming and I leave two monitors for real feed or some other camera or something else and I just leave one, two monitors. So, coming to gaming performance, first let me tell you that I use only four monitors from this setup and leave two of them for Twitter feed, camera, or something else like that. So, on one of four, we got around 50 to 60 FPS. The average was 56 FPS. On Battlefield 4, we got around 80 to 90 FPS. And GTA 5, we got around 130 FPS. 